At first, it's an honor to be here with you. Uh, I'd like to ask a personal question, just for the beginning. If you have a chess app in your smartphone, as you said, the chess app that we have in our smartphones are much, much more intelligent than than the blue, blue was. Stronger as a chess player. <laughs> yeah. No, so. I, I have to I have to confess my <laughs> sins. So I don't have a free really? chess app. But I, I have uh, several chess engines at my computer, so okay. I just, you know, uh, maybe, you know, this is, it's having it at my phone, it could be too tempting, so that's why, again, it's just, I'd rather keep it in my computer, computer, and I, when I work with my book, Deep Thinking, and, um, and uh, um, went over games I played with Deep Blue, I used these chess engines, and I was quite, you know, amazed by the speed of these machines mm -hmm. basically saying mistake 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 mm -hmm. so i knew i made mistakes but it, actually the blue was also um, uh, um, playing uh, not the game that was far from perfect <laughs> so it's more a professional tool <laughs> yeah it's a professional tool yes and i try to yeah, separate you know the entertainment and profession <laughs> sure no i'm retired actually in your speech, you said also about the, the Dota. You said esports. Yeah. E we have League of Legends, yeah. Heroes of the Storm. It's another kind of interaction with men and machine. And now these machines are also beating these kind of players. What, what, what's your opinion about it? A psychological mistake for people thinking that oh, this game is so complicated, mm -hmm. and it's it's a new milestone. It's an, another watershed moment. Mm -hmm. Chess, Go, by the way, more complicated than chess. Dota, any game, any closed system, machine will dominate. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, it's about making decisions. It's not about playing perfect game. Mm -hmm. It's about playing better than your opponent. And no matter how fast are humans, machines will be faster. Sometimes machines can make mistakes, but average quality of the moves in any game, whether it's a video game or, or a game of chess or a game of Go, machine will eventually prevail. We could see this huge advantage because machines don't falter. Humans poised to make mistakes. You will have your moment of weakness. No matter mm -hmm. how good you are, how fast you are, how smart you are, you have your moment of weakness. Machine doesn't have it. And that's, that will be the, the deadly moment. Mm -hmm. So that's why, while it's very impressive, you know, for instance, the, the massacre on Dota or mm -hmm. massacre on Go, mm -hmm. uh, uh, caused by, by, by uh, AlphaGo, uh, created by Demis Kassabi's uh, team from Google, mm -hmm. It's it's not it's not something that should make us you know tremble mm -hmm. um, because there's no immediate transfer of the technology and, and knowledge accumulated in a closed system to an open-ended system mm -hmm. and life is an open-ended open system. Do you have any hint, any tip for a professional esport player? So with your experience, what can you tell them to? How can they use? this technology in their advantage. First of all, you should remember, as I learned 20 years ago, the day has come or will come soon mm -hmm. that you will not be able to compete with machines. I mean, don't take it as a tragedy, just, mm -hmm. it's called progress. <laughs> so we are, at the, at, we live at, at, at an age where machines are taking over many areas that we believe were exclusively human areas. It's uh, so, certain aspects of cognition. And I'm saying that anything that we do while knowing how we do that, machines will do better. Keep playing with other humans. So just, you know, <laughs> don't, don't pretend that you are superhuman. Beat other humans. We keep, chess is still there. You know, people don't stop uh, uh, doing things if, if they are not sort of superior. Mm -hmm. Usain Bolt is not competing with Mercedes-Benz. Mm -hmm. so I'll still play in chess and I'm awful at it. <laughs> Look, you know, it's, it's people, you know, still enjoying chess because at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's a game that is unlimited mathematically, so you cannot solve the game. Mm -hmm. So you still don't know the outcome when the first move is made. And it's about human competition. There's so many things we can learn about us humans. Of, of uh, playing against each other. So, uh, and it's it's quite an entertainment to watch other players. Now I enjoy it because I you know I look from the side. <laughs> and uh, what, by the way, what bothers me when I see these amateurs, like you, for mm. instance, mm. following the game of Magnus Carlsen and say, uh, uh, Levon Aronian, and you have your computer mm -hmm. and you are making comments saying, like, stupid move, stupid move, this is, <laughs> and, and you're right, by the way, but it's still a bit annoying that, you know, you use the machine mm -hmm. just to criticize the strongest players in the world. So when I played Carpo, nobody dared to 
to confront us, even if we made mistakes, uh -huh. because you know, big guys, you know, the world championship <laughs> match. So you should respect their kind of, you know, uh, their wisdom, even if the mistake is obvious. <laughs> so that's a tip for everyone that comments in our YouTube videos yes. as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yes. you, Mister. Thank you.